Hello guys, it's the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have Emili Lewis Lazuni with 1,622 rating versus Like a Boss 22 with 908 rating. So let's go ahead and hop right into this. We're gonna see Like a Boss win the rock paper scissors shoot. They're gonna go first, 40 versus 42. Opening hands, we have Zeta pre prep, Delta branded fusion, Vanity Jeweler. Uh, okay, so like. We see no going second cards. We see pre prep in the deck. Branded Fusion Vanities. These are like the interesting card. Well, I guess this isn't like this. Pre prep isn't that interesting. Uh, Branded's cool, I guess. I wonder if they're just doing like, you know, Anaconda and the Mirror Jade. And then they have Scarlet, Skill Drain, Ecclesia, Fawn of Alabaz, and Nadir Servant. So we're going to see more of the branded Eldritch deck. So many people have been trying this deck out. Uh, stuff like skill drain skill drain is so good pass or Idaton. now they're gonna go main phase activate pre-prep and then pre-prep it's gonna go search out the herald of perfection and then search out the donna herald i actually forgot what this card's name was for a second i'm not even gonna lie then they're gonna branded fusion so it doesn't even try to i guess their deck work like their main deck still does something after this so they're going to summon effect. It's not like acting in Fusion Destiny, which is a little bit weird because, like, it's fair enough. It's definitely fair enough to do that. I don't know. I just, I've never tried out Branded Drytron. This is my first time ever seeing Branded Drytron. And then activate the Donna Herald. Uh, they're going to get rid of Ben 10, summon out Herald, and then Ben 10 and Don banish, add back Ben 10, and Ben 10 go search out Natasha. Um, they forgot to add the Ben 10 back off of the Donna Herald. <laughs> oh, I, yeah, I was about to say, that's, uh, you can't be forgetting that. But they're going to Zeta, Tribute, Adaton. So summon out the Zeta, go search, grab the Drytron Ritual spell, and then Adaton effect to make this gang a thousand attack and defense permanently too. And then activate the ritual spell, get rid of Delta, bring out Idaton, Idaton effect to add back. Can't you? Oh, I, I guess there's no point of actually activating it. it. It's like the deck does everything under skill drain. It's like, huh, I just compl Ugh. Then they're going to get rid of that to summon, reveal, draw. And then Idaton effect. So now this is at 38. Activate the ritual spell. Get rid of Alpha. Summon Natasha. Just to get that in the loop. Battle phase. Attack over. Attack for a thousand. And now they're gonna flip Scarlet so that way they don't take the thousand. And then Herald attack. They just let that get beat over. Pass, draw cursed. Okay, so now they have a few options here, what they want to do. Uh, the curse was a pretty good draw. They're going to activate Nadir Servant. Uh, Nadir Servant, dump, dump Elder, grab back Ecclesia, and then Elder effect. So Elder's going to pop the Herald and then activate Cursed. Effect, pay, feel great, go search. So going ahead, grabbing Conquistador. Yeah, I don't think... Yeah, last turn they didn't really have anything else they could have done either. Like, Nadir Servant is really awkward when you already have Ecclesia with that kind of hand. Because Nadir Servant can go ahead and search the second Fallen of Alabaz. But what are you going to dump that makes it, like, worth doing that? That would be, like, actually in the extract, you know? And then Golden Lord Effect. Get rid of Cursed. So... Add back, a special summon out, and then they can cursed effect if they want to, because you would want to to get access to Scarlet here, right? Curse, dump Conquistador, end phase Conquistador, set Scarlet, Scarlet, set Wakero, Conquistador, set from hand, set five pass. You have more Eldritch cards in rotation. I think that you would want to, no? They're going to beat over Natasha, and then banish Scarlet, go set Wakero, pass turn, draw Zeta, 
Now go main phase. Now they can actually, you know, go into their extra deck. Uh, ritual spell. Target delta to try to add back. And they're going to chain punishment. Send to get rid of delta. They get to put that in graveyard. So they're going to get to search branded fusion. Which I guess is cool. They're going to be under punishment though. And then once they get to it also, like they're going to have to outskill drain to make it actually do a lot. Uh, Tribute Benton for alpha effect. Chain Walk Arrow. Does that hit Natasha? Um, why? I, I don't get the point of doing that there. Like, why, why would you walk Hero the Natasha there? Are you afraid of, like, the the purple light main deck with Ava banned? <laughs> I'm not sure. Delta tribute off. Summon. Reveal. Draw. Uh, draw some of Fafnir. And I feel like they've gone through all of their targets for prep. Like, there's no way they have another target. If they had another target, that'd be pretty clean because they, they would have been able to add back the Ritual Spell from Graveyard with the second effect of that. But now, activate Fafnir to go search. That's going to go grab Nova. Now, activate Nova. And then Nova, summon out Gamma. Gear to Gamma for a Link Kurt Freebo. And then... Gamma Tribute Draco Nid, Special Summon Out Gamma, Special Summon Out Alpha. And then Overlay, go for Fafnir. They said, okay. And then Normal Summon Diviner. Declare Effect, making the opponent scared of droplets, maybe. Get rid of those. Goes for the Herald of Arc Light. They said, okay. But, um. Huh. Were you so post uh conquistador pop fafnir so that way they don't have to xyz and synchro on board so now they get to go for elder arc light effect or do you pop diviner so that way you stop herald to stop herald search that could also work that could also be the move. Yeah, that might just be the move. Uh, but they're gonna go search now. They play multiple Dawn of the Herald. Go for Nightmare Phoenix, Nightmare Phoenix, and Elder. Uh, so they're gonna try to pop both and then draw one. So they use Elder Chain Link 2 and then End Phase. Go search Branded Fusion. And then they're going to get their effect. Imagine if they had that Scarlet though. How much more pressure they'd be able to apply here. It would just be game. Draw Brain Infusion. Oh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> they're going to switch to defense. Special Ecclesia. Ecclesia effect. Go grab Punishment. Switch to Attack. Wouldn't you want to leave Lord in attack to beat over that? And then main phase 2, set branded fusion, set punishment, end phase, conquistador, banish to go set. Yeah, draw emergency. So I, I think their misplay of like not saying Scarlet earlier is actually what's going to make them lose this game. Get rid of Zeta for Gamma. Because now all they have is Punishment versus like all the Drytron stuff. So I guess it's pretty good because it stops the Ritual Spell from coming back. But then they can Zeus you. So you also have to like dodge that. Yeah, so they're going to let this go through because they don't want to get hit with Zeus. So grab back Ritual Spell. And then they're going to Delta Effect. So Special. And then Reveal, Draw. Draw some to Droplet, activate Emergency. Okay, Emergency doesn't really do anything here though, since they already have every name. It's just like a, another name in hand. 
to get rid of taxi effects or go ahead and fuse away with Sabon too. So they're going to bring out Draco Nids now and then go battle phase. So attack walk hero. And this doesn't say like has to attack effect monsters or anything crazy like that. Just to make sure. No, okay, it doesn't. Just, just to make sure. So beat over those and then set. I also played six and a half hours of Yu-Gi-Oh before this. I was on the grind today. And the only thing I found out was that for the regionals this weekend, I'm not going to have the deck that I should actually be playing. <laughs> so I'm just not going to have access to the cards. Uh, they draw Illusion. That's fine. I mean, it's just a regional. I'm going to have a, a good time just being there, to be honest. But Summon Fallen of Albaz, Fallen of Albaz effect. Discard the fusion. Chain Droplet. Get rid of the fusion. So negate that. Now activate the Branded Fusion, and then I think I've done Fallen of Albaz and Driver Summon, and then activate the effect that goes through. So Banish, Banish, bring out Mirror Jade, the Mirror Jade effect. Go ahead and get rid of this because it doesn't target. Okay, so in response to the effect, they're gonna chain uh, Banish because that's uh that's twenty. Four, wait, that's not 24, that's 22, <laughs> 22 plus 18, okay, that adds up, that looks like 4,000 to me, um, yeah, I guess you don't want to banish names like Drytrons, but I mean, you could just banish Fafnir and like a Zeta, right, and like, those would probably come up less than the Ida 10 Herald, at this point, to be fair, Addison should have already been banished because they would have Natasha banished any chain to go ahead and hit that. But they're gonna activate the effect to send. So uh, they said all three, two is for every two thousand attack, not total attack must be two k. No, if you read this, it says uh, you can banish monsters from your graveyard whose combined attack equals exactly two thousand or four thousand. So they can do exactly what they did there, but if you keep reading. It says, then target one face-up card your opponent controls for each 2,000 attack total. So target two and send those to the graveyard. Yeah. Said, so, oh my bad. Mirror Jade and then the Albion. Then they're going to activate the Golden Lord effect. So send, special summon out. Okay. Um... And then Illusion of Chaos, grab souls, and then put back. Summon out by dumping. They can't link off because they use Branded Fusion this turn. <laughs> they said, ah, new deck. Then battle phase, attack. Um, this is also not at 18, it's half. Yeah. And then end phase, effect. So... That's going to go grab the Branded Fusion, and then still end phase, Scarlet Walkero, Set Walkero, Scarlet. Setting it in this zone, by the way. What an animal. Because, like, you didn't even check for Imperm that. I guess, like, your Droplet checked for Imperm. But, draws Lancia, and then Gamma, get rid of Alpha, Special Summon out, and then bring out the Zeta. Ritual spell effect, target gamma, chain walk hero, hit the ritual spell. They still have punishment as an interruption. Uh, delta effect, bring itself out, reveal draw. Delta in the grind is so crazy. And then emergency, grab alpha. Thinking here about what they want to do exactly. Overlay for Fafnir, no effect of the Fafnir. And then go battle phase, start a battle phase, punishment, and then just submit the feet. Okay, so that, that was a pretty back and forth game one. It's 41 minutes. Like the the summoning the elder was kind of cool, but we're gonna see Drytron go first game two. And we have Natasha, Prep, Orange Light, Alpha, Fawn of Albaz. They have Curse, Scarlet, Conquistador, Golden Lord, and Add Your Servant. So activate prep. Uh, no hand traps on the opponent's side. 
We also only see one Drytron name on this side. Even if they did have like a hand trap though, you know, orange light, as long as it's not imperm. Uh, grab Perfection and then Fen 10 effect. So Fen 10, grab Diviner. And then Normal Summon Diviner, Diviner effect Ascend. So it's gonna send the Herald of Arclight and then Herald of Arclight effect, go grab Dawn of the Herald, activate Dawn of the Herald. And then that's gonna Tribute Diviner, Special Summon out Perfection. And then they, you know, they can't use this effect because you can't summon. And it's like the orange light was probably the only target anyways. Uh, banish to uh, add back. And then turn alpha into a Link Karibo. Pass turn, draw Conquistador. And then activate Golden Lord effect. Get rid of itself and Conquistador. Try to out. Chain to negate. Activate Cursed. Negate. Set Scarlet. Golden Lord effect. Send. Now they're going to let that go through because this doesn't actually do a lot if they have a normal summon though that's crazy because then they can beat over link karibo and the herald but they still have like their alpha follow-up natty servant chain to negate so it really just forced a lot of negates there but like still has engine and everything pass drop branded fusion and then they're gonna activate conquistador here to pop you either like force them to negate it, right? Or it goes through and then they can't alpha like tribute this off. So then they have to have something at hand to get rid of. You have Walkero. They don't have a lot of Drytron names. You have a lot of Eldish engines. So they have to like end the game or do a lot this turn. They're gonna Branded Fusion. So Branded Fusion, get rid of Fallen of Albez and Gamma. Summon and then activate the effect. We're going to see Wakero get chained there. And then Wakero is just going to hit the Fallen of Albaz. And we're going to see them say they're GG's. So Drytron ends up winning that 2 0, winning the Rock, Paper, Scissors shoe. You know, I mean, obviously that's pretty big in a combo versus trap matchup. Like, whoever wins the Rock, Paper, Scissors shoe. So obviously, you know, they have a little bit of an advantage at least. Uh, but still well played by uh, Emili, like going through some of their lines of plays. I don't know if they played it like all the way perfectly, but I think like the the Elder was nice. And then they could have played around Elder to keep skill drain up. But to be fair, how many times do you see Elder get summoned? Now it used to be really popular in FTKs, like. I don't even think, a lot of the FTKs, I don't even think we ever had in TCG. They were just like OCG FTKs. And, because they had Mare Mare way before we did. Oh my gosh. We had the goo cooked up with Mare Mare back in the day. We had FTKs cooked up. We had multiple negate end boards cooked up. And multiple negate end boards back in like 2015 would have been insane. Pain. <laughs> I mean, you probably would have just auto won if you ended on multiple negates. And it's like, Mare Mare just, it took too long to come out. It took way too long to come out. Otherwise, Yang Zing might have been the goo. But to be fair, I was pretty bad back then. Because now I'm sitting here and I'm thinking to myself, I'm saying Yang Zing would have been the goo. Mm, yeah, probably wouldn't have actually been that crazy, but I would have went X3 at a regional with it. Let's go! <laughs> uh, nah, but with that being said, the DB Grinder signing off. Peace, have a nice day, stay safe.